Top of the Thursday morning, P.O. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. P.O. Positive for pet peeve. The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... Well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of, a few clouds early on, but they will be gone soon. Music time! Here's your mail. Hmm, these look like bills. That's lighter than I thought. Nope, no answer.
Oh dear, you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh hi, Miss J... Mildred? How so? Are you really that happy to see me? It's just... this week... it's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening, but I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. But what do you mean he needs to bring you an envelope? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Oh dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? Don't worry, I'm sure Frank will show up again. Oh, Frankie boy, always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Oh, don't worry about it. Your hair looks just fine. No, no, no. My hair looks like a mess. I can't go out and about looking like this. Sure you can, Mildred. I'm sorry, but I have to be on my way again. Oh dear, oh dear. I need to go inside and calm down a bit. lighter than I thought. Meredith! Look at this house on wheels! I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. It was left here by Mickey and June, that young couple by the lake campground. Oh, really? And now what? They told me I could have it if I want. I don't. I can give it to you instead, if you want it. You know, keep it here and tinker on it. Oh yes, that'd be amazing. You know I love tinkering, but it's going to need a lot of work. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while, I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the sea turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the raccoon, because it's got brown spots and is full of trash. Or the hermit shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like... The hermit shell. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye.
Yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good stuff. Important delivery. Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. You haven't told me anything. I'm, I'm new here. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away. How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? It's not that. It's just that not everyone up here in these parts feels comfortable with us leaving packages on their doorsteps. I... I do beg your pardon. I... yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the Postal Service, ma'am. Should it even matter who I am? Shouting at random strangers is generally considered rude. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here, and Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch, and thank you. You're welcome. Sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? Oh, Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait, I got it. And then he says...
I'm calling it a day. Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Good afternoon, Mr. Morgan. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. I see. Well, thanks for the help. Where are you going now? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Hello? Hi, Em. It's me, Kay. Oh, hi, Kay. Good. You're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, brain. <laughs> sure. What's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's Journey, so I'm like, oh, I need to go tonight, and I got these tickets ages ago. And it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night, and I promise you I've called everyone and their brother besides. They're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I get a shortcut to the question? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on R and I. Okay, don't freak out. You got this. All right, recap. Journey tonight in Portland. Got tickets. Sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight. Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my god, you serious? That would help me out in such a big way! And I would owe you big time. Huge! No problem. So, what time do you need me? You're a lifesaver. As soon as you can make it. You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit! Alright! See ya! All right, who wants s'mores? Hey, 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 guess who's back? Frank? I'm so glad to see you again. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Good riddance. Hell yeah, that clueless piece of work. What happened the last few days? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Ooh, this sounds very juicy. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. Sweet. That should keep them off our backs for a while. Haha, <laughs> yes. But that buffoon will be back. You can bet on it. What odds can you give me? Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I better get back to work. <laughs> 